Good morning, Jersey Bell family, and welcome to Coffee Talk. Some of you are here for the first time, so welcome. Some of you are catching up, and some of you have been with me since the first one, which I love. Um, last night, as you know, was the finale of Jersey Bell, and I am exhausted because I was up super late, as you can tell by the assortment of luggage under my eyes. Um, I wanted to talk to you about something that struck me in last night's finale when I said in regards to my children, you know, maybe you, I need to focus on what I do have and not what I don't have. And I believe that, but it kind of bothered me that I said it, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, just because I want a fourth baby does not in any way mean that I am not thankful every second of every day for the three healthy children I do have. I believe fully that I can still not feel done and still want another child and that that doesn't somehow mean that I'm not thankful for the ones I do have. Um, and for me, it's not that simple. It's not as simple as saying, oh, we're not going to have a fourth baby. Okay, I'll just focus on the ones we do have. I focus on the ones we do have every single day. So when people say things like that to me to it sort of poo-poos my like biological clock or maternal instinct or whatever. Nobody can tell any woman what to do with her body, what it is she wants in regards to children, whether she wants to keep a baby or have another one. These are things that come from inside and they can't be influenced by the outside, um, which reminds me, uh, the the way that Bravo wrapped up the storyline with the baby's mother in New Orleans is not completely true. So I'm going to do a separate post on how that whole thing went down so that you, because I think you guys deserve the truth. So look for that. Um, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about um, the notion of wanting more. Um, I, I don't understand why at, you know, when, when, uh, when we want, I can only speak from a woman's point of view, but when we want more for our lives, people try to hold us back. They try to suppress what it is that we want by saying things like, you need to be happy with what you have. I mean, if, if, if that was the case, if we were to just be happy with what we have at any given time, how would we ever grow? How would we ever pursue our dreams? How would we ever achieve anything outside of the bare minimums? So I disagree. If you want more for your life, if you want a better job, if you want another baby, if you want whatever your heart desires, go get it. Don't listen to anybody telling you that you need to just be happy with what you have unless you are indeed happy with what you have. You choose your threshold for happiness. You decide when your cup runneth over. Nobody else. Because you're the only one who has to live inside your definition of happiness. And nobody else. So if I want another baby or 50 babies, if I want to be uh, the Duggar chick, then that's my threshold for happiness in regards to childbirth. Why does anybody care? It, and the notion that it somehow diminishes how I feel about my children. Even my own mother said it to me. And you know what? It pisses me off. I love my children more than I love my own life. More than I love my own life. I would take a bullet, run in front of a train, fight a bear, whatever for my kids. But it doesn't diminish the fact that I don't feel done. And I am the type of person that when I want something, anything in my life that I believe will be fulfilling in a positive way, I am a doer and a fixer. I will keep looking for any way to make it happen. I believe if it is not meant to be, it will not be. But I don't want anybody in my world, on my planet, 
to tell me what my threshold for happiness is. And I don't want that for you either. You don't let anybody decide when enough is enough in your life. You decide when enough is enough. You decide when you are where you want to be professionally, where you're where you want to be in your romantic relationships, when you have ha- have enough friends or enough children. If you want to get that fifth dog, you get that fifth dog. You want to buy another pair of shoes, you buy that pair of shoes. You decide when enough is enough, not anybody else. I mean, anyway, I would love to hear what you guys thought of the finale last night. And I would also love to hear your thoughts on the notion that somehow if you want something more for your life and the suggestion comes that you should just be happy with what you have, what are the thoughts there? Because I disagree. Nobody else can tell me when when Jamie is happy, when Jamie's happy has enough. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I have so many exciting things to tell you. I'm getting everything in line over the next couple of days so that I can share it with you. I hate keeping secrets from you because they're literally burning a hole in my pocket. Anyway, I love you so much. Please share and uh, just thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.